Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I first want to take a look at the United Kingdom and the energy of the United Kingdom. Oh, something is jumping up. Well, good, a good sign. This is the six of wands. That means that uh, they're pretty much in control of the white hats. I do believe that the white hats are in control. And what we really are watching is an unfolding for people to wake up, to have the opportunity to wake up and more and more truths will come out. But the United Kingdom is under control of the white hats, certainly with that card. So I'm just going to take that one as the card above and see what the central card is for the United Kingdom. It's the sun. Well, that's a beautiful card. This is in the past, the five of swords. We have underneath the sun, the three of pentacles, and we have the emperor in the future. That looks like the military to me and the chariot. I just pulled an extra card for the future. Actually, there's this new energy. I think um, it may not seem immediately, uh, how do you say that, evident that things are going the right direction, but I've had this feeling for a while now that things are really moving into the right direction. In the Netherlands, it is, at least to me, I'm really sensing things are coming up, things are getting in the news, people starting to see things. Whether they do something with it or not is up to them, but things are getting out. And I do believe in the UK, things are coming out as well. At least, at least, again, with the children, especially with the sun, that always connects me to the children. So things will come up with that as well, especially because they've been working hard underneath the UK. I do believe that most of it is now on the control of the white hats. I think they finally, uh, it's very important, especially the United Kingdom, what's underneath that and just in Europe in general, in the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, everything underneath the earth, you know, underneath the ground needs to be cleared. And I do believe that they have the, uh, they pretty much have control over that now. And that's very important. Things will come out. I see in the future, well, the military. <laughs> so they're going. I think we will see the military, of course, in the United Kingdom as well. When and how, I don't know. Like I've said, I believe, I don't believe in dates. I think it has to do with events. So we have to wait for the event. We also have to wait for a lizard bath to uh, pretty much uh, leave the plane officially. I think she's left a long time ago but it's really uh, i think you can just see in the media they're really already doing coverage that she well she's apparently uh, was tested positive and now i think we're really very close but we don't know at least i don't know the people in charge obviously do but i think that's a handful of people that know what's going to happen and when it's going to happen like i said i think it's connected with events so things had to happen first and then the next domino will fall and the next domino will fall. But it is going to fall because the chariot is showing us that they're moving away from something. And I do believe the military will have uh, a lot to say about that, in which direction they will move this into. So I do believe a lot of things have changed there in a way that it, it was kind of grim in the past. A lot of dark energies. I think most of it has been cleared. I think the Whiteheads are pretty much in control of the United Kingdom, but still a lot needs to come out. I think people, there more and more will come out to wake up people. I think underneath most of it is, is cleaned there. I think most of the dumps have been taken care of. And we really are moving into the new direction. I think we are moving to the military and moving away. I think we're going to see that in the United Kingdom as well. And I think around the world. Of course, a lot of people are waiting for that. Just live your life. When it's going to happen, it will happen. Like I've said, it has my feeling it, it is connected to events, not necessarily to dates. So don't wait for it. Just be prepared because yeah, things can get a little rough and chaotic. So I'd like to take a look at Austria, which is very interesting because the mandate has now been postponed for the wasp sting. They were pretty firm with the restrictions, but now they're postponing it. That's already what the feeling I got before that it's really, they're not going to, how do you say that, uh, effectively implement things. And now it's being postponed. So I'm just going to take a look what the energy is in Austria. 
We have the five of swords, that's above. We have the queen of wands, that's the central card. We have the nine of cups in the past. We have the magician underneath the queen of wands. And we have the ace of swords in the future and the three of wands. I've just pulled an extra card for the future. I've kind of been doing that for a while now, so I just keep doing that. Let's see, the queen of wands. So this tells me white influences are taking over. There's still a very grim energy. So they are playing their roles. We still have those puppets in place. We have them, of course, everywhere in the Netherlands as well. So the puppets are playing their part and they have to play the part as grim as possible. So it will seem like they will get back later on or the, it will seem like it may be postponed now, but they will get back to it because they have to wake up the people. This is really about waking up people. I do believe that people also in Austria not exactly similar to Germans, but they do have this compliance, this obedience in them. And it's necessary for them to get back into their own authority, into their own strength. You can see now that the restrictions are, at least that's how I'm feeling things in, in our certain areas are more restricted because the people are more compliant. They're, they need a bigger shock to wake up. And this is necessary for waking up the people of Austria. I think things are changing. Like I said, the white hat influences are taking care of things, but the people of Austria also need to realize. So this is a chance for them to step into their power, to step into their strength and to speak up and to speak out. Because it's so important to have the people uh, stand up for themselves. If that's not going to happen, well, we don't have to worry about that. I do believe that a lot of people are waking up right now, but it's necessary, especially for the white hats, that they don't just step in like the black hats and really we're just changing or shifting colors, but it's the same thing. People haven't woken up yet. It's very important that people understand their own strength, their own authority, and understand they need to stop waiting for other people to do things for them or to give away their power. That's why the white hats aren't just stepping in because really then they're just exchanging places with the black hats and no one really wants that. This is the great awakening. This is about stepping into your power. So for the Austrian people, this is very important for them to step into the power. So there can still be a, a grim energy going on around or this fear that they will get back to this mandate that just postponed it and it could come back later. So it's very important for them to wake up. In the future, there's going to be a completely new energy, more truths coming out in Austria. The Ace of Swords is like a new beginning, especially in the element air. So communications, inspiration, ideas, news, new inspiration. And I do believe that a lot of Austrian people are still kind of wait and see but they will be more open because more energy and more uh, new communications will come in. So more truths will come in, but I still have a little bit this, we'll wait and see what's going to happen before we're going to start doing things. So I do believe that it's very important for them to step into their power. They have this opportunity now to really step into their power. And of course it's up to them. I do believe a new energy will go through that area, news will come out and it's up to the people to pick it up and do something about that. Now, I also want to take a look at the USA. So much is happening there. So let's see what the energy is of the USA. Let's see. We have the lovers, it's the card above. We have the devil, the central card, that's interesting. We have the seven of swords, that's the past. We have the king of swords underneath the devil and we have the eight of pentacles. I'm just gonna get an extra card and the knight of pentacles for the future. Well, the devil is showing their faces. I think it's just getting more and more clear who is really they really are showing their faces and that's exactly what the plan is because we have the king of swords underneath a very calculating person 
you could see it as Mr. T, but I see this as the plan as well that's being rolled out. And it's really, this is exactly according to plan to really show people what is going on, how they are tied. This is interesting because the lover's card is above this. As you can see, the two people are identical except for the devil's card. Here, there's a devil between them. There is an angel between them. This is about showing the people that they're giving away their power, that they giving they have given away their power to people that really been using it, abusing it. People need to see what they've been doing themselves. They need to understand this is not what we want anymore. Everything is being shown. The dark is really, the spotlight is on the dark energies and what's been going on so that people can liberate themselves, throw away the change, the change around their necks. I mean, the, they just throw them away so they can finally be free and choose really their path and choose their connection with God. That's what this is about. It's about getting away from that devil and really cho choosing the life they really want. They really, the connection with God, the connection with their heart. That's what's going on right now. And the switch is happening. It's happening, right? how do you say that, right now. It's just beautiful to see this energy. I can just feel it, the change that people are starting to understand. Yeah, what well, we've been doing this for so long. We've been just giving away our powers. It's time to take it back. It's time to really connect with our hearts. There's still a lot of work to be done. How do you say the, the work is still done, but the, they're rolling out the plan. That's the near future. This is all planned and it's going according to plan. And it takes a lot of work. So I think a lot of moving pieces, it's like I've said before, and many others, it's like a chess game. There are all kinds of pieces that can be, you know, you can use. And the, it's really about seeing what the other side is going to do. And I think that we really are following the plan. This is according to plan. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, like an energy that just waits, see, puts a plan into action, see what's going to happen, then reacts to that, but moves the plan along. There's no stopping this energy. This is a very thorough energy. And I think they're moving along. The white hats are really moving along. This needs to be shown to the people of America and the world because pretty much everyone is watching the USA. I do believe when things are happening there as well, it will affect the entire world. So I also want to take a look at the energy globally, what's going on in the world, global energies. What's, what's the energy right now? We have the Nine of Pentacles, that's the card above. We have the Five of Pentacles, the central card. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the past. We have the King of Wands underneath the central card. And we have the Knight of Swords for the future and the Ten of Wands. So this moment, globally, there's still, still a lot of people feeling left in the cold, a lot of people in horrible situations. Like I've said before, I don't see this as a movie because really I'm sure there are a lot of people out there not enjoying one bit of this. There are dreadful uh, conditions people live in um, and it's, it's changing. The white hats, in a way, are taking care of that. But sometimes we need to get uncomfortable, unfortunately, to wake up to understand what's been going on. And people, you know, well, they all think they want to have it as comfortable as possible in their own little bubble. And really, they don't want to be bothered with things outside of what's happening. But it's necessary to wake them up. They need to get out of their bubble. They need to understand their own value, their health. This is very, I think it's going to be very important now that the focus will be on the health of people. I think, like I've said before with the reading about the United Kingdom, a lot of things about the wasp sting are going to come out more and more. We've already seen that happening in America. I think also in Europe, we had that. Uh, we have now new 
um, research coming out, it's very important people start to understand what's been going on, what they've been, uh, well, what they let happen to themselves, because we have to take responsibility of what has happened. People have to understand what they actually did to themselves by following authorities outside of themselves and not connecting with God, with their heart and understanding what's right and what's wrong. So people will feel left out. And unfortunately, that is necessary to wake up people. Some people will never wake up. That's the way it is. But the people that can wake up are ready to wake up. This is necessary. You really sometimes have to shock people and get them uncomfortable before they start moving, unfortunately. And as we see in the near future, this is, uh, well, this Knight of Swords not taking it anymore. So they, it will look like uh, a, a war is starting. I do sense the fear. It's like a collective field we're all connected to. And you can really feel the fear. A lot of people don't understand what's going on. Are really afraid that there's going to be this humongous war. I don't believe that will happen. It will look like that's going to happen. So I do believe in the near future for a lot of people, it will be a lot. It will be like they won't know how how to react, it will be overwhelmed. Like I've said, not only the fear of war, a lot of things are going to come out. People will not know how to react, how to handle it, stress. So in the near future, globally, I think that this collective field of fear, at least I'm sensing it. Sometimes I can feel that fear. I just leave it for that because I understand it's not from me or not uh, connected in a way to me. I do feel it, I do sense it. I'm sure a lot of people that are highly sensitive will sense that fear in people, it will come out. So it will look like a war is going to start. Of course, we already have Ukraine and Russia. I do believe uh, China and Taiwan will be next. But people will be very, very afraid. They will be overwhelmed. We, of course, now have the prices hiking up, uh, food, uh, gas, you know, a lot of things are happening right now and it terrifies people. And I think that is necessary. People need to get out of a comfortable place. They need to wake up. So they're kind of targeting people in their securities, uh, health-wise. Uh, no, the fear, fear wakes people in a way up, but it's up to them. But it's triggering because their security is falling through, their safety with the war threats, uh, the security with all the economical problems and uh, all the prices are going up. And of course, the health-wise problems are going to show up more and more about what's going on with the wasp sting. So I think it's going to be a very hectic near future globally it will be in a very hectic period. I've mentioned it before, others have. It's going to be chaotic more and more things will come out and that in then we will be very important so the people that have woken up that understand what's going on we need to step into our authority because we're going to be very important helping along so we need to do the work we need to look at our own shadow sides our shadow work we need to uh, get into our authority we need to feel that connection with god and really trust the plan trust that we are all right trust that we are safe trust that we are always protected and that's really the energy we want to bring out into this world right now that safety that people are searching for uh, the the love the connection the protection it's in the trust that everything is going to be all right so I want to leave it at this. I hope to see you in another video. Bye.